Good morning, Internet. I thought I would just kick this back off. <clears throat> Mostly because it's pouring rain outside. Kind of don't have anything to do outside. So, uh, stupid emulator glitch. I decided to go look up online to see just how much I actually, uh, whatchamacallit. Nope. Did not mean to lower that volume. I meant to lower this volume. Um, looked up online to see just how much I skipped when it came to playing the game. Um, or not really skipped so much as glitched or gone around or things like that. And the answer is none. Apparently I'm actually doing this in the order that the FAQ did it, which is weird because this is not the order I would have done it normally. Don't mind me. Which, something else that I've noticed is now all the enemies seem to be more difficult. I'm not entirely sure why, because this area had easier enemies before. I meant to actually go after the Warlock. Oh well, Warlocks didn't do anything. There we go. Those are the enemies that I expect to see. Don't mind me, just getting to a temple. Oh, that's right, I forgot. Flying mice can also call other mice. Luckily, I don't particularly care about them. Blood puddings are not supposed to be up here, either. I think what happens is the moment that you get a fifth party member, the game slightly glitches. There we go. Um, the game slightly glitches and just starts overriding the monsters. I don't know why. It's just a theory. You know, like gravity. I'm joking. Is there anything on the outside here? I can't remember that there was. Nope. Might be on the other side. So, we are doing the first part of this dungeon, the lower part. This is another one of those we could actually sequence break and go somewhere else right now. That's actually what I did the first time because I didn't quite understand what I was supposed to be doing here. Um, I don't recommend it. I... How to put it? Um, this is the extremely difficult portion of the game, as I, I didn't sequence break and had that many problems before. Imagine if what happens if I would sequence break at this point. Um, at the same time, you really want to try to get to Luna at night as fast as possible, which requires going through this incredibly obnoxious dungeon. And I do mean incredibly obnoxious. I'm thinking the FAQ might have slightly sequence broken because, seriously, these are easier enemies than when I was facing outside. Oops. I can't go through there. It looks like I could walk through the rubble, but apparently not. You know, I can't walk around rocks or go through trees after all, so what's the difference? Yep, these are regular Amazons. I did sequence break. So did the FAQ, apparently. Good. That'll make things a little bit easier for me. Okay, Annie leveled up. And Annie learned silence. That's worthless. Edward learned thunder, though. That's not worthless. Wanna be thorough. So, I had somebody else ask me how I do this gaming setup. Um, I took a picture earlier, I uploaded it to whatever service um, Twick ends up using. But um, basically what I do is that I have, I totally went the wrong direction. Oh no, that's right, I have to go up before I go down, I remember now. Um, what I end up doing is that I use EPSXE is the PS1 emulator I use. From what I've heard, it's pretty much the only good PS1 emulator. Um, I use EPSXE, and I have a file share. Oh gods, I hate this place. I have a file share on my network appliance that stores all of the disk images for all of my games. <clears throat> That's PS1, PS2, PC, everything. Um, the reason being is that, well... One moment. Ah, there we go. 
Uh, the reason being that I do that is simple. I don't like getting up. Um, I don't like having to use optical discs. I've had many of them corrupt and just break. Living in Florida, you tend to have a lot more in the way of disc corruption and things like that that you have to deal with. And I've had a fairly large number when it comes to games. I don't like having to deal with that, so I just rip them all and then play them that way. In the US, that's not entirely legal. Um, I obviously don't have any moral qualms with it, because seriously, they're my games, so I'm not even pirating them. And I have been known to actually download the game rather than rip it myself. Mostly because I'm lazy, but... Eh. I own the game. It's not like I'm really... I'm, I may be going against the letter of the law, but not the spirit of the law. I'm not sharing them around or anything like that. And this becomes quite a bit easier when it comes to, well, emulation. By the way, this dungeon has a very high random encounter rate. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I probably kill Samson. Hey, look! He dropped a healing herb. I think I'll use that on Samson. And step on that so I can easily get out. So this file share is just organized based off of PlayStation or er, Sony games. I actually have PS1 and PS2 games in the same folders, um, and then from there it's different series. So like for instance, my Soikiden games, which I own one through four. No, that's right. I only own one through three. No, I do own one through five. Um, I have them all in the same folder. That type of thing. Okay, so treasure chest there. Nope. Actually, that might be the correct process for me to go through to get that treasure chest. Yes, it is. Good. RP. And to mid healing again. Imagine that. Yep, I chose wisely. So, yeah, um, it takes up a fairly large amount of hard drive space since I have a large amount of PS1 and PS2. Very large amount of PS1 and PS2 games. Um, let me go grab the binder really fast. I've shown the games in the binder before, but this is actually my PS1 and PS2 game binder. It is mostly full. Oh, I can fast forward that. See? Mostly full. I mean, yeah, there's empty spots in here. The reason being is that I don't fill up. I want to keep enough space so if I add more games, I can actually, you know, fit stuff in. And yes, that is Ogre Battle for PS1. Um, I actually have a PS1 game collection, specifically RPGs. I am down to a single-digit number of PS1 RPGs remaining in, in that I don't own. Flat out. Single digit, I think it's seven now. I discovered a couple more that I didn't own that were just weirdly classified on different sites. Um, I have, in fact, picked up several of them since then. Uh, let's see, the most valuable game I own, at least until Sony announced the uh, game being released on PlayStation Live, was um, Circuit in 2. Uh, the most valuable game I don't own would be Valkyria Profile, or Valkyrie Profile, not Valkyria Chronicles. Uh, Valkyrie Profile is the most valuable game I don't own at this point, and I'm probably never going to own the PS1 version. Sad. Kinda wish I could just permanently set Samson to guard. Oh, all of that for a freaking smoke bomb. Damn it, me. RB! Okay, that's the fault. Good. Um, let's 
let's see, what else to talk about that people have asked me. I haven't really received too many questions, but I normally don't. Makes me sad, I like answering questions. Shift where I'm actually in camera again. Probably move the keyboard closer so I don't have to lean forward as much. And playing this with frame skip is so much better. I hated this dungeon because of the sheer random encounter rate. Oh crap, that's a slip. Taunt is probably gonna get KO'd. Yeah, Taunt, go ahead and summon. Please? No. Good! Slips are nasty. You really don't want to fight them in this game. Yep, Taunt's groggy. Okay, let's go ahead and heal up because uh, that hurt. I kind of wish it told me max hit points while I do this, so I can judge whether I should use heal 1 or heal 2. Really, I just keep using heal 1. Uh, I should be fine. Um, I'm not that low on LP. Should just be a little more careful. Oh crap, Samson's at one. Ah, uh, that was dumb of me. Oh well. Ah, this is where things start getting painful. What's Samson's max HP again? 22, no. Be nice if Samson ever ended up not cursed. Oh, I have to walk all the way back, don't I? Damn it! Long random battle is long. There we go. Worth a fair amount of points though. Nobody really got that hurt. Here's the game. Okay, so the reason why I don't like ghouls is that they paralyze, I remember now. Screw this. Start using MP. Yes, that was a high elf that cast win two on a single enemy. Is it me, or does it just feel slower when I stop frame skipping, and the game feels like it's going at a snail's pace? It's probably not just me. Ow! Samson, you're gonna die at this rate. Yay! Taunt learned Fire Drake! Finally a useful spell from Taunt. Is at one. I think that one deserves a tier two. Wow, I didn't even fully heal from a tier two. Okay, time to use some items because I'm kind of running low on things. Uh, let's see, you have two healing herbs. Annie has one healing herb. Samson has two healing herbs. Edward has two healing herbs. And a regular herb. Let's go ahead and use a regular herb. Yeah, that'd probably be good for Samson. And Taunt has all of the healing herbs otherwise, so... Annie... Uh, 
Hunt. That oh, was a waste. I'll just use a regular herb on him. Uh, Eddie's actually fine right now. This is actually where I needed to go. Okay, that floor is done. Now, even more nastiness. That's pretty obvious. I should really just have Samson defend, but that's slower. He hasn't even gotten to the really nasty parts where he starts one-shotting himself. Work Lords. Still gets KO'd. Yep, Samson's down to zero victory. Or, zero LP remaining. This is gonna stink. Uh, nope, can't go that way yet. Defense and agility up. Great. Just what I needed. You have Thunder now. Thunder is a very nice spell. It hits a group of enemies. Uh, it's very similar to Wind in that regard. Only more powerful. I'm not going to use it, though. Because I'm instead going to use Fire Drake. Screw you guys. And now you get to see Fire Drake. Yeah, Fire Drake is an awesome spell. Samson leveled up, yay! If only he actually got some, you know, hit points. I think he has one LP now, though. Nope. Uh, oops. How am I doing on things? Um, generally low on hit points. Uh, let's see, I can use one heal spell. Use it on yourself. Myself. There. Now I can actually get through. Eventually. Once a random battle stop. Single Ripper. Samson, you are now defending for the entire rest of the time. Samson will never harm himself when he's defending, at least, so. Uh, I should probably even throw him in the back row, to be honest. This is sad. Fuck lord. I should check his defense. There's taunts. Let's see. Prepare! Status! Samson's defense is 22. Taunts is 20. Taunts is... Has almost a high of attack as McWedka? What the hell's going on? You know what? Frontline taunt. Yeah, that's a statement I never thought I would say. There. Now Samson will probably stop getting damaged as much. We must never speak of this battle. GTFO. 
Yeah, you don't want to mess with three slips. Not when I'm this low on LP. Nuh uh. Not gonna happen. The three slip or four slip battles are nasty. D-pad. Should've bought the better version of you. Two ghouls. Okay. This is doable. And do that so I can get back easier. And yes, I know I have an escape spell, but I'm probably not going to cast it unless it's absolutely necessary. There's a chest. Which I need to hit that in order to go through. How's my hit points doing? Um... Watch the item be something stupid. I had Samson back. He has one hit point. One. Yep, I think it's time to use a mage potion. Or at least use more of uh, Taunt's healing herbs. Samson. Hunt. Thought just came to me. So, there's a couple of restrictions when it comes to items. Um, one, you have to have the inventory space, and two, you have to have the money to buy them. And I've been going about this assuming that the difficult part of this was the money, but I'm filthy rich. What I should really be doing, rather than buying healing herbs, or buying mage potions. Okay, Dragon Card is worth it. Dragon Card is a Fire 4 item. Oh, right, I probably should have used Mage Potion on her already. Ah, uh, Fire Drake. And Thunder the crap out of these guys. There we go. Oh, right, I forgot I had them. Ow. <sighs> okay, this won't be as bad then. Pain, so much pain. Why am I doing this? Damn it, Samson. Yeah, it gives Annie 20 MP. It's totally worth using those instead. So it gives her 6 and change castings of healing. For 600, so... It's effectively like having um, 6 healing herbs. Only item-wise, it's much more efficient. Right, I need to change the maze again so I can get at anything else.
Change the maze back to where it was. Convoluted. Hello, kitty. Stop trying to eat the microphone. All right, so let's go ahead and get into more random battles. Two summoners, crap. Tot might get KO'd from this. I'm still not high enough level to actually do anything. You, cat, I kind of need you not on top of my. You know what? Let's give Silence a good old college try. Ah, one of them got silenced. That's not terrible, actually. Ha! Totally worth it that time. 3 MP saved a lot more than 3 MP. That, not so much on the worth it part. And this one's even less worth it. Well, apparently ropers are weak against fire. That's right, plant creatures are weak against fire. Uh, in this game, there's not individual weakness and strengths. They're actually based off of what type of creature you are. leveled up. Did not search. Magic. Annie. Heal thyself. Yeah, while you're at it, heal Gwedka. And time to go through the maze. I swear, really, this game is just trying to get you into as many random battles as possible. It's annoying. Meh. Oh, I had Samson attack. Oh well. Taunt's low on hit points, but that's okay. Yeah, go ahead and attack Samson. And he leveled up. Taunt. There we go. Now, here I'm not actually sure what path I should be taking. I think this actually makes sense. Yes, I can go down from here. Let's check to see if there's any more treasure chests that I care about. Of course, that missed both. That's fine. It's fine. I'll I'll be fine. Fine. That was not worth it. Oh well. Annie, use your mage's potion on yourself. Yep, that's the entrance. Damn it. Meh. Oh, I ambushed them? Meh. This won't be a problem.
sure I need to do that. Pretty sure I need to do that after. Gargoyle. I don't remember what power they have. I want to say it's sleep. Which is not a problem since they're the only enemy here. Also, ridiculously high defense, of course, but meh. Two, yeah! Seriously, your critical does less damage than taunts normal. There. Die. Die. You're not even worth that much. Oh, I guess you're worth a decent amount of experience, given that there's only one of them. Actually, I think I can do it like this. Nope. Mazes are annoying in RPGs. I like mazes overall, it's just... So many random encounters. I mean, seriously, I've done nothing but be in this dungeon, basically, for this run, and I'm already at 31 minutes. Quick leveled up, that's nice. Always with the strength increases, never with the defense increases. So, I need to hit this. Well, I'm glad I ambushed them. Actually, yeah, taunt. Go ahead and fire Drake. Taunt, taunt. That that that's great game. I guess I'm gonna have a frontline Edward soon. Seriously. Okay. Tons dead. That's great game. Okay. Yeah, I think I will be guiding Branch my way out of here. Well, that stinks. I can do nothing about it. Oh gods, this is going to hurt so much. Please don't hurt yourself, please don't hurt- okay, good. <sighs> Once more, the difficulty of Beyond the Beyond reminds me why I like the game. I mean, seriously, how many RPGs have you played where the random battles are actually the dangerous part and the bosses are the easy part? Which, by the way, I did look up. The first boss in the game is exactly at the halfway point. Piece of crap. Smoke bomb? No, I don't have one.
Crap, I didn't realize how low on MP he was. Oh, I'm screwed. to myself total. Okay, that wasn't that bad. There we go. Okay, heal up. I don't think I can deal with two dead characters. One's bad enough. And naturally, they don't get any experience while they're dead. Yeah, that's the other problem, is that you can't access their inventory. I think you can actually still give items. Give... Sammy... yeah. Give... Sammy... Give... Sammy... Edward. Give Annie. Luckily, there's no boss at the end of this dungeon. And again, the first boss is halfway through the game. Mage potion. Yourself. Mage potion. Yourself. So expensive of a trip. Quedka. And heal yourself. I know it's only 90 MP, I don't care. This way, I believe. Great time to have Taunt. Him with the 17 MP remaining. going to escape from this place when I'm done. One skeleton warrior I can handle. Oh, finally. Oh god, there's more! up having to run away from this dungeon. Again. That'd be nice having an entire recording of me not actually doing anything. Yay. Ah, crap.
Welp. This just went to crap. Do you have the cure herbs? Of course you do. Damn it. Good. No, damn it! You're not dead yet. Now, don't attack Samson, don't attack, damn it. Well, at least he's still alive. That was an expensive gargoyle, still is an expensive gargoyle. Ain't you so much, Samson. If you were a useful character, we would have been done by now. No, I have to throw the fighter in the back. Okay, Samson needs healing. And that's about it for now. Do you actually go anywhere? Probably not with how long this is. The game's just trolling me at this point. Finally, something I can fight! I don't care. Okay, healing herb! Hooray! Coming back! Slowly, very slowly. That path was worthless. Crap. I remember them being really hard for some reason. Don't know why. Maybe it's just really fast? Not that fast. Eh, not really that hard, it looks like. They hit hard, that's all. Hitting hard, I can deal with. Because they only hit one. Make way to heal thyself. Because, well, to be honest, your MP's not gonna be doing anything else. Oops. Oh crap. Whew. I mean, 13 damage hurts, don't get me wrong. Yes, go Annie! Okay. Actually, let's be honest, your normal attack's probably still better. And I want you to thunder the crap out of them. Come on, Mikwedka. Yes! Take on the evil mages! You're probably gonna hurt yourself really bad, aren't you? Yep. Don't care. Yep, waste of MP again. I think my housemate's up. Hopefully I didn't wake him up. He normally saves through everything, so I doubt it. He's at 1 MP. Let's go ahead and use another Mage Potion on him. I think all I need to do at this point is find some stairs.
You know what, stinks. Fighting when you only have two characters, basically. after the healers first. Yeah, Samson, you get to attack too. And then you may kill yourself. Or you can do nothing. That works too. At least you're dead. Stay dead. Yeah, hit him for that 10. Ah, oh, my housemate's leaving. Oh, that's the way I came. Now I move these. I think now I can use the stairs. I think. I hope. I don't know how much longer I can take of these guys. Yeah. That's right, they're weak against fire. doing? Oh, right. I'm scared of those guys. Got it. Uh, Samson's gonna die. Almost certain of this. Yeah, Samson's gonna die. Yep. Bye-bye, Samson. Okay, so I'm down to three characters now. Woo. Okay, let's go ahead and heal up again. Full heal, Annie. so much. Okay, that's a dead end. I need to go down and around. Or up and around. Both, actually. Crap. Annie has LP out the wazoo. <coughs> Hi, 
hope these items are worth it. Uh, paint. Where's my smoke bombs? Maybe I should just use dragon card or flame card or something. Yeah, let's we'll just use a flame card. I don't care anymore. Oh, I'm low on MP again. Back row. Flame card! Whee! Wasn't that fun? I can't believe I'm using one-use items. Watch this be like a flame card. Oh, no, that's actually my goal. So I'm gonna grab the other treasure chest and GTFO. Assuming I survived that long. Eh. Orc Lords I can handle. Although now that I've actually gotten my item, I'm going to go ahead and start spamming some magic. Because I can. Ow. You're not supposed to counterattack me. Bonk. Walk all the way back around. I don't remember what the other item is. I remember usually skipping it and going, yep, screw this. I'm done. Thunder card. Yeah, I think that was Thunder 4. Maybe Thunder 3. Don't care. I'm done dealing with this dungeon. I'll use any and all one-use items in order to make sure I don't have to do this. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Sliff is the only thing I care about. Everything else is easy to deal with right now. Okay. Heal thyself fully. The other one would have been full also. I don't care that I'm using extra mages potions. I'm going to get that treasure chest, damn it. I know how to get at it. need to do is flip that. I think that's actually all I'm, I need, but let me check. Oh. Good. I'm doing fine on hit points for the time being. Luckily, these three characters actually have a fairly large amount of hit points remaining, so I'm not too concerned about them. Oh, it's this side staircase I bet I need to be on. Do 
have a smoke bomb? You do. Oh, screw it. Let's go for it. All I need is a critical or a double attack. There we go. that much about that treasure chest. It does bother me. Okay. Uh, let me think. So I need to get to one of these two locations. Either the one that's to the top right, uh, top left or bottom right. There's two ways to get to the left side staircase and only one way to get to the right side and the only way to get to the right side is where I have it set right now which blocks off any way of actually getting to what I need so I have to shift this must be something else oh I know what I need to shift it's this up here Wagtin needs to heal again. And yes, I know I no longer have any MP for escape. That's fine. I have plenty of guiding branches. So it's this that I need to move. And I go back around. I'm starting to think I should have ran away. Oh well. Push comes to shove, I lose half my money, which is a crap ton of money, don't get me wrong. But I don't think I'm in that danger. Given my LP situation, I'm not doing that bad. Just Haunt and Samson are terrible in that regard. All of this obsession over a single treasure chest. Uh. Oh, that just gets me to the other stairwell. Which doesn't really get me anything now, does it? Going around like this does not either. I see how I can do it now, I think. Sliff, bring it on. All I need is a single critical hit or double attack. Which, of course, I didn't get. And it's gonna win me. Ow. So glad I used that resist item on Annie. So otherwise, I would be screwed over from all of these magic attacks. Otherwise, oh, I'm already screwed over from most of the magic attacks to begin with. So every enemy in the freaking game has an area of effect spell other than me. Now I can get at him, I think. Screw dealing with them. And yeah, I know I can run away normally, but I have atrocious luck with that. I've died oh so many times because of that. Okay. Uh, 
How do I do this? Of course, I ambush them and don't have that problem. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is just going to get me back over to here again. Which does me no good whatsoever. Be able to do much so. Well, Edward leveled up. He learned ice too! Hooray! He doesn't have any MP, but he learned it. Right, you don't have anything to use. Okay, maybe there's a way up here. Uh... I see the other way I can get over here. That's how I've got to do it then. Okay. That makes slightly more sense. Single orb cord. Ah, good. Edward's now fast enough to be able to go after orc lords. This makes them substantially less nasty to deal with. So, I need to go this way. Let's save the smoke bomb, just in case if I have another, um, incident. Good. This will just be a slugfest unless it starts stoning things. Like that. That's fine. Paralysis ends at end of combat, so not that big of a deal. Yeah. I think poison's the only thing. Poison and curse, of course, but... <coughs> okay. Now I should be safe and set to be able to get that treasure chest and watch it be something stupid like herb. Direwolf? Already? That's weird. I'm not supposed to fight those yet. Oh well. Concerned. There we go. Now I've got the item. <sighs> So much in the way of sliding block puzzles. What is this? What is it with this game and sliding block puzzles? Great. I've got poison on top of everything else. That's just going to be a healing turn. So I only healed 21 from that? Yeah. That's what happens when you use healing items in combat. Okay, I should be safe from here. And yep, this is okay because I'm going to run away the moment I get this treasure chest. Fire Drake Vaz. Something I already have. That That's great, game. Screw you, game. Hate you all. Guiding Branch the sucker. And yeah, it only brings me back here, but the random battles in this section of the dungeon are easy. Up is where I go later. Ugh, finally! Well, 
let's see, there's a town a little bit to the southeast, so I'm gonna go there, because that's the shorter route. And then go revive my two party members. Not in first. Revive first, then in. I'm actually going to stop this recording when I get to Luna again. Oh, wrong one. Now save. So I don't ever have to do that again. Mind you, we're still not... Damn it. Fine. You know what? I'm not going to bother saving. I will save in Luna. So I'm going to go sleep first, so I actually have, you know, MP again. And then fill up on, you know... Mage potions, so many mage potions. Sell, I uh, get all the mage potions. Since this is the town that sells them around here. I'm actually not too much further before I can start teleporting, which is nice. I actually made a profit from that dungeon? How'd that happen? Oh well. No longer have a profit with all the items I'm buying. Do 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 just a couple. Yeah, you know, one or two. See, this is the reason why I use a way of getting lots of money. I should probably buy another cure herb. And some actual healing potions. Let's see, how many healing potions do I have? I have four, five, six, seven. That's probably actually enough. Okay, now that I've spent nearly 10,000 gold on mage potions, distribute them a little better. Let's be honest, McQuedka doesn't exactly need them. With his 14 MP. We've got a healing arm, though, which is important. You do probably need them, but you know what? Give that to Samson. Uh, okay, that's fine. You have a healing herb and crap tons of mage potions, that's fine. You, okay, that's okay. Okay, yeah, that actually looks good. Let's head back to Luna. Oh, hey, look, I learned Cure 2. I don't feel like healing. I guess it doesn't matter. Seriously, you're only hitting taunt for one. This is fast forward fun. this at, at Luna? Yeah, stop this at Luna. That way, absolutely nothing of importance has happened other than collecting the Moon Crescent. So people can just skip this video, because this has been terrible. Oh, no, I don't need to rest. Resting is not what I need to do. I need to save. So this becomes the most recent church, so I can kill myself. Push comes to shove. So, 
How long has this taken since the last time I saved in Luna? Let's find out. Two and a half hours. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. Um, I will see you next video.